Thank you for joining the September Makers Creative Collab Video Hop, where a group of creators get together to interpret a theme. This month, it's Striking Sticks. What I've chosen to do is preserve the memory of a 200-year-old tree that was struck by lightning in July, and we are going to have to take that down. I am very saddened by the loss of this tree. It has been such a foundation of our property for years, and we have hired a chainsaw artist to come in and recreate something for us. So I'm going to take you to my encaustic wax station and kind of share with you a little bit of the process I went through. I gathered some sticks from the branches that had fallen, and I took a piece of plywood and coated that plywood with um, antique pages from a book and am encasing those in the hot wax. And I'm just fusing it and allowing it to set up on that substrate. Once I had about three coats down, I began to add texture with different items out of my shop that I could find to texture that wax, which would create a little interest when I added some color. I added quite a bit of color, quite a bit of layers of color, and once I had all that down, I went back and carved in to the wax some marks that I thought would create and define a little more interest. To illustrate those marks, I chose a yellow ochre oil paint and rubbed it over the top of this piece to allow it to seep down in those marks and just create that visual interest in this background. Once I had the background complete, I polished it up and got it ready to accept the sticks that I am planning on placing on this to commemorate that tree. I gathered all of those sticks from the fallen branches and I hit each one of them with a coat of Mod Podge, hard coat of Mod Podge. Once everything dried, I strung it together with a piece of 24 gauge copper wire, just threading those sticks one to the other, getting them ready to lay down on top of my encaustic wax substrate that I'm showing you here. So I'll attach those sticks and then I went to lay some fabric down on top of that to house the piece of mica that I have chosen to place on top. And mica actually comes up naturally or forms naturally in the soil here near my home in Georgia. Now, this is not one of those pieces. I did purchase this piece of mica, but I have now finished the piece and I want to put it on a backdrop. I have taken a piece of watercolor paper, put texture on it, coated it in parchment, and now I'm just topping it off with some copper liquid pearls around the outside edge. Let's just take a look at some of the close-ups of the finished piece. And while you're looking at this, I'm going to remind you to follow along with the hop by hitting the end screen in each video that will take you to the next creative and see what they have chosen to do for the theme striking sticks. This was my piece. Once again, I used encaustic wax to commemorate that fallen tree that was hit by lightning in July. And once finished, I encased it in a black shadow box and it is now hanging in my home. Thanks for being here. And I shall say bye for now. Here is the next video. Please follow along and subscribe and give us all a thumbs up. See you next month.